Hello fellow coders, it's me, Katie, your foodtastic host. Today I'm going to show you how to create a timed game in CodeSpark Academy. Let's jump right in. So here we are with Collect Gem Time. I'm going to be playing as Clockodile, and uh, let me put in a green gem and a clock into this level. So today what we're going to learn is that gems and clocks are both variables. So I can collect a green gem and I can collect a clock and you can see these numbers going up in the left hand corner. So today we're going to use the clock variable to create a timed mini game. Let's jump in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to code Clocko from the start. I'm going to give the player 20 seconds to complete this game. Let's read that code. When started, set the number of seconds to 20. Perfect. So this means at the beginning of the level, the player will get 20 seconds to complete the game. The number of clocks I have is not counting down, but what I want it to do is count down. So if I want to do something on repeat, I use a loop. So this code is going to set timer to 20, and then it's going to loop and subtract 1 from that number. Let's try it out. Okay, well that didn't work. So what was happening was I kept subtracting one, but I didn't wait between clocks that I subtracted, which is why it went way down to zero immediately. So here in my code, I put a little timer in between. So I set my gems to 20, and then I wait in between subtractions. Let's play this game. My time's running down, running down, running down, and when it gets to zero, the game should be over, but you can see here that it's not. So what I want to do is set the conditional. This conditional is going to check, does the number of clocks equal zero? And if the number of clocks equals zero, it's going to squish the player, which ends the game. Let's read this. When started, set the number of seconds to 20. Loop. Wait short. Subtract 1 from the number of seconds if the number of seconds is exactly 0. Squish forever. All right, so I think that this is going to do what I want it to do, which is to create a timed game. It gives me 20 seconds to complete the level, and then at the end of 20 seconds, it'll squish Clocko, which ends the game. I'm going to purposefully lose this game to see what happens when the clock gets down to zero. Three, two, one, and there we go. If you run the clock all the way down to zero, the game is over. So let's try this one more time, and I'm going to beat this level in 20 seconds or less. All right, so we got a countdown. It's counting down. I'm jumping up, and let's get the star. Woo! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to create a timed game in CodeSpark Academy. Come back next week to see more games created by kid coders. Thanks for joining me today. Keep coding, keep creating. Go out there, make a couple timer games of your own. Do you want to see me code something specific? Just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below. I look forward to playing with you guys soon. Bye.